This is a Bible. And 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 this is a Bible. Now you may know characters from the Bible, stories from the Bible, and verses from the Bible. But how much do you know about the Bible? The Bible is a collection of 66 books. There's books on law, books on history, books on poetry. There's books of collections of songs, letters, and even books on prophecy. All of these books are combined into one book that we call the Bible. The Bible is broken up into two parts. Do you know what those two parts are? The Bible's broken up into the Old Testament and the New Testament. There are 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 books in the New Testament. The focus of the Old Testament is on God's relationship with the world and God's relationship with his special people, the nation of Israel. The Old Testament is broken down into three parts, the law, the writings, and the prophets. The law starts with the story of how God created the whole earth, and then it moves into how God created all of the nation of Israel. And then he gives them the laws of how they are to stay in right relationship with him. In the writings, you have the history of the nation of Israel, how they became a nation, and how they set up kings and their whole history. You also have collections of poems and pieces of wisdom for his people to follow, and a whole book of songs. And we have the prophets. Now the prophets were people who spoke on behalf of God, and they often spoke to God's people when they disobeyed his law. Jeremiah was one of those prophets. After warning God's people to be obedient to his law, he also said this, Jeremiah 31, 31, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Hey, I just said that. And that's why we call it the Old Testament and the New Testament. Not because the Old Testament is really old and tired, but because the whole of the Old Testament is looking forward to the new covenant that's going to come. And the one who's going to bring about the new covenant by fulfilling the law. That's why the New Testament is all about the one who fills it, Jesus and his church. Now the New Testament is also broken up into a few parts. The New Testament starts off with four Gospels. Now Gospels are all about Jesus, his life, his ministry, his death and his resurrection and his ascension to the Father. It's the story of Jesus. The New Testament like the Old Testament, also has history, but this time it's the history of the church, how Jesus' church started and how his church spread. And in the New Testament, there are a lot of letters written from Jesus' followers to those people in those churches on how they should live and obey Jesus as his church. And the final book of the New Testament, the last book of the Bible, is about the future, when Jesus is going to come for all of his people and set up his kingdom. So the Old Testament helps us to understand who God is, his character, what he's like, and it helps set the stage for Jesus. And in the New Testament, we learn everything we need to know about Jesus and how we are to obey him. God wrote every part of our Bible for us, both the Old Testament and the New Testament. And we need to love the whole Bible because it says so clearly in 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So now you know a little bit more about your Bible. So the next time you open your Bible, you'll know more about why there are two parts, the Old and the New Testament.